I'm happy to introduce to you is Indira Pierce. Hello, everyone. I would like to first wish my fellow classmates, our families, Atlantic Cape Community College's superb faculty and staff, President Mora, our keynote speaker, Bapari Lee Esquire, a warm and heartfelt welcome. Speaking on behalf of my fellow graduates, it sure feels good to be here. Some of us came to Atlantic Cape straight out of high school, ready to hit the ground running. Others took a few years off to figure things out. And still others waited many years to return for a variety of reasons. Money, family, work, maybe even fear. Fear of the unknown, fear of failure, fear of success. After being laid off during the Great Recession of 2008, it would seem like common sense to return to school, right? Nope, not to me. Don't get me wrong, I know a lot of people who decided to try something new, but I wasn't one of them. I had been out of school for too long, and to be honest, I was scared. I didn't know if I had what it took, so I gave up before I even tried. Instead, I worked in different places, always scared, but not having the courage to do something about it. I was trying to hang on and keep it together for my family. They needed me, and I could not. I wouldn't let them down. We had bills, we needed insurance, and frankly, I didn't know what else I could do, so I kept working. I didn't think about the future, I just thought, how could I get through today? I wish I could remember that fateful day when I decided to start my academic pursuit, but I can't. Perhaps because it wasn't really one moment, but rather a bunch of little ones and big ones coming together to finally help me walk through the doors of the J building and start something scary and new. I came here as an adult learner already in my 30s with a full-fledged career and a husband and son at home. It wasn't easy getting started. There was no high school guidance counselor handing me forms, telling me about FAFSA, or reminding me about due dates. Instead, there was just me scanning the web, calling, emailing, requesting meetings to change my major again because a new class grabbed my interest and I needed to change my major to reflect this. Honestly, I changed my major three times in less than four years. I guess it took me that long to find my dream, my passion, and my path in psychology. However, this wouldn't have been possible if I had not had the good fortune of joining you here at this school, where I was given the opportunity to discover myself, to be dis exposed to ideas that challenged my preconceived notions, and most significantly, where I was given the tools and taught the skills I would need to succeed. For instance, I was a terrible math student. During the placement test, my hands were shaking. I thought for sure they were going to tell me there wasn't a, a math class remedial enough for me. Of course, that didn't happen, but still, I walked out of the testing center with a raging headache. For the third time in my life, I found myself in pre-algebra class. Check me out, I'm a triple threat. I was in pre-algebra class in junior high, high school, and college. <laughs> Boy, I was feeling confident in myself. Yeah, right. But what I didn't know was that I was at the right place at the right time. As many, if not all of you are aware, Atlanta Cape has tremendous resources that enable their students to learn and thrive, from supportive professors, to technology like my math lab, to the tutoring center where great students help people like me who need them. How lucky are we to be graduating from the kind of school that takes students that think they can't and turn them into those who can and do. I could spend hours talking about my professors and all the ways they motivated, supported, and pushed me to give my all, but they only gave me four minutes. So I will pay tribute to all of Atlanta Cave's professors by saying thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you for believing in us, challenging us, and demanding the best from us. I would also like to give thanks to my terrific husband and son who put up with me and didn't stress me out over cooking or cleaning. Crazy. <laughs> and thank you to my mom for always catching me when I fall. I know I speak for my fellow graduates when I say thank you to all of our loved ones who supported us along the way. Thanks to you, we stand not at the end of the road as what is implied by a goodbye, but rather at the very beginning. And to you, my fellow graduates, I would like to share a bit of advice from my namesake, Indira Gandhi. Have a bias towards action. Let's see something happen now. You can break that big plan into small steps and take that first step right away. And here we are taking that first step. We are leaving here today smarter, stronger, and ready to face the challenges that life throws our way. We are Atlantic Capes graduating class of 2013, and our future looks good.